So the, one of the nice things about the computer here is that I can bring that, see the wires all actually come from inside the computer, so at night I bring it inside, stick it up here in the mirror, and then I could do email, uh, which is uh, a perpetual challenge trying to keep up with that. Uh, I'm failing miserably at it. I could uh, look at world map, I could process the images, pictures I take, and uh, I can uh, uh, talk on the phone. We use a computer and this little head set you see I got this headset plugged in with a microphone on it to run a program just like Skype or any other VOIP we have a similar program and that's how I make phone calls and uh, can call people on the ground which has been really nice so just looking around up here I got my Giants hat that's the that's my name tag if you will on my patch that I wore uh, on my orange suit when we launched in the shuttle I carried it with me and just stuck it here over my sleep station Let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I keep some snacks down here. Of course, candy corn right there, and juji fruits right there. And then this is not really a snack. Let's see if you can read it. That's Russian food. It is appetizing appetizer, yes. Yeah, yum yum. Here's my Yankees hat. Signed by Roger Clemens, the rocket himself. Sleeping bag, that's it. So, sometime later I'll give you a demonstration of what it's like to go to sleep in space, but we use these little bungee cords. This is like an elastic band. And that's just my pants, I just tuck them behind those, and my shirt just to tuck them behind my bungee cords there for convenience. But those bungee cords push us up against the wall and make you kind of feel like you're in a bed, it sort of works. It makes it a little bit easier to fall asleep, kind of.